Greetings. I want to read a short passage from an article published in 1774 in a New York City newspaper. Now, the author of this article was Alexander Hamilton. And for those who don't know, Alexander Hamilton was a gifted and prolific writer of his day. And his works inspired many of our founding fathers because it explained the reasoning and rationale for ratifying the Constitution and for the Revolution. Now, this uh, article is titled A Full Vindication of the Measures of Congress. And I want to read it to you because I think some of the points and sentiments raised can resonate with many Americans today. So let's take a little trip down history land, okay? Here we go. What can we represent which has not already been represented? What petitions can we offer that have not already been offered? The rights of America and the injustice of parliamentary pretenses have been clearly and repeatedly stated, both in and out of Parliament. No new arguments can be framed to operate in our favor. Should we even resolve the errors of the ministry and parliament into the fallibility of human understanding? If they have not yet been convinced, we have no prospect of being able to do it by anything further we say. But if we impute their conduct to be wicked, thirst of domination, and disregard to justice, we have no hope of prevailing with them to alter it by expatitating on our rights and suing to their compassion for relief. Especially since we have found by various experiments the inefficacy of such methods. 